everybody welcome right now we're at epcot we're gonna see what they have over here for festival of the arts mm -hmm. regarding figments his yeah. treasure hunts all the cute little trough drawings around the park mm -hmm. maybe sample some uh food and beverage my favorite part of the day <laughs> <laughs> i'm a big boy i gotta eat and then we're gonna head over to disney springs because they have celebrating soulfully for black history month with some black artists some cool music I think it was at like Motown. Yeah, Motown Mondays over at Disney Springs. So, Motown. <laughs> oh, and they also have, in recognition of Black History Month here in the American Pavilion, the jazz exhibit. So we've got a fun full day ahead of us. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get started. All right. Since we're doing Figment's treasure hunt today, I think that we should start with the figment ride. It's only right to do the figment. It's only right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, full disclaimer, it's not one of our favorites. We kind of think it's stupid, but it's a classic. So let's go. Let's do it. All right. So they have a new expression section, paint by number mural since the last time we were here. This one's really colorful. I like it. Did you want to do it? Oh, that's a long line. Oh, okay. it's a long line. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's not right there. <laughs> you want to do it? Uh, sure. All right. Let's go over here and get some paint. Just to fill a part of it. Yeah, I want to be a part of this one too because we were part of the last mural. This section right here, number right. six. So I want dark blue. I know you're going to pick. Yeah, you got black. <laughs> you're going to be in section number six when you go. Six? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. This is so full already. Oh, I see some number sixes up here. Yeah, there's a 14. There's some 14 scattered. Yeah, All right. You got that five squares? Yeah, we did it. Look, Mark, that's what it's going to look like when it's finished. Thank you. Do you know they're doing another mural? Oh, yeah. By, uh, this will come down tonight. They'll be new enough tomorrow morning. Ah, see, I knew it. I knew that's why she was over there painting so much. Yeah. She's trying to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. All right. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. All right. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Over to Figment. I got the song stuck in my head. Which song? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. And don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. And don't be suspicious. I'm you over. Said, you said don't, and the first thing I thought was don't jump that from the food. Wrong song. I Wrong. was like, don't what? Don't be suspicious. And don't be suspicious. Well, look who's over here. I got joy. <gasps> Do you know what that is? Um, a show? It looks like the butterfly house. Oh yeah. I'm so excited! Okay, let's go Look see Joy. <laughs> what else did you find? Oh, she, she's finding sticks. Hi! She's, <laughs> she's collecting sticks. Oh, right. oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, she... Yeah, Hi, Joy! <laughs> She's so cute! <laughs> so cute! Okay, Figment for real this time. For real. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> for, 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 for. For real.
Let's see here. Okay, okay, you ready? All right. All right, one more. Looking good, looking good, girl. Slide. <laughs> oh, you know what? I got you. Uh, I got you on that one. I didn't get you on that one. Okay. <laughs> it was like I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> that would be fun to like to dress up as Venus. Well, I mean, she's not wearing any clothes, but like <laughs> put on like a new colored dress and make your hair all fly in the wind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Just crushing the flowers. <laughs> it's okay. Don't care about these. <laughs> <laughs> I am the monster of the plants. <laughs> it's my favorite here. That was one of my favorites. But not the rest of you. Sorry. Rapunzel's my favorite. Okay, bye. Alright, let's see what kind of stuff we can find. And Canada. Canada. Oh, it's always so pretty. Victoria Gardens. Okay. Le cellar. <laughs> Le cellier. <laughs> but it is with, like a cellar in there. I'm saying, but, I'm saying, but it's pretty much saying the cellar. Yeah, because it looks like a like a wine cellar in there. Le Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Nailed it. I think there's supposed to be something in this bridge. There's supposed to be something in the bridge or? No. Oh, was there like a little Mickey or somewhere around here? Maybe. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm pretty sure there was something over here. I knew it! Found him. You can't see him from right there. Mm -hmm. Look over there, it's your favorite. Ah, it's Brother Bear! <laughs> and that's the little one. I can't think of his name, Coda. <laughs> Coda, yeah, 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 Coda. So the little chalk creation that we just found of Coda is supposed to be figments. He's painted those or chalked those all over the World Showcase. So that's one thing we're on the hunt for. We just found Canada's. And then the second is paintings. Figment has placed himself inside of very famous paintings. Mm -hmm. So we're on the search now for the painting in Canada. And I think it's back here in the Kid Cop Fun Stop. Oh, right. Hello. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I found it. <laughs> Good job, you found it. <laughs> so this is supposed to, this is Figment in Dreamer Woods. And it's supposed to be like the famous painting, Deeper Woods. Pretty cool. It is really cool. I'm ready to paint now that I'm seeing all this paint. Oh okay. yeah. Let's paint. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this waterfall is so big. It's so loud! Alright, let's head over into the UK. Bye, UK. wonderful! Oh, wait, you can't even see my mouth. You cannot see your mouth, no. Does this close up? Oh, yeah, you, you can open it. Or, oh, no, you can't, can you? Darn. That's it. Dang. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look what the bear ate. That was me. <laughs> Alright, so there's the UK. And right before you get there is the Festival of the Arts Festival building. And you want to try some ratatouille? Yep, we're going to try some ratatouille. All right, let's go. New artists. Poppy Rockers? No, these are cool. Hi. Dave and Beth's Hobby Rockers. These are so neat. And the ones you can ride a zebra. Zebra on the steep. Oh, look at the dinosaur. Oh, this is, this is Mac the T-Rex. Hey Mac, what's up? What'd you find? What'd you find? What'd you find? Look at this. Oh, this is her ear and it's in the shape of an earring. 
The buttons are made with guitar picks. Oh, I see it in the back now. Oh, that's clever. So her name is Meredith Young. So it's my Meredith Young art, my art. I will wear that clever. today. Today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at these other ones real quick. Hi. No, we, we trying to get to all of them. <laughs> they're made on, let me give you a little demo. <laughs> So these are guitar picks, and they got Velcro, so you can, it's a two pick. So you get two pairs. That's awesome. We supported an artist, one of the artists here at the Epcot Festival of the Arts. It is a guitar pick, and then you can change these out, they're little Velcro babies. So cute. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got the Remy's Ratatouille, and I will be honest with you, this smells so good. And it's so pretty. A little juicy. Oh. What on earth? Oh, it's a show. Oh my. This girl's strong. Oh my goodness, she's so freaking strong. Where's the eggplant? Right there. It's in between. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah. I like to know what I'm like eating when I'm like doing this. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm like a juice. Not bad. Not bad? Mm -hmm. Alright. It was good. I think it was a little too much vinegar. Probably. It tastes more pickly. Oh. <laughs> I think the, I don't know, I've never had traditional ratatouille. I feel like the sauce should have been thicker, but it was still really good. Yeah. Really good. It is good. <laughs> All right, we're headed over into the UK. So we're looking for the little, where Figment placed his chalk figurines and also where Figment placed himself inside of a famous painting. Let's go have a look around the shop. Maybe he's in there. Hi! Yes, yes I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The penguins are my favorite. Mr. Penguin, oh you Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you. That's fun. I like having the characters out. <laughs> Just interacting and... <laughs> Mr. Penguin. Mr. Penguin. Mr. Penguin. Mr. Penguin. <laughs> That's the way you have to <laughs> Okay, wait, we didn't find any figment yet. Okay. <laughs> we, still, we, we, saw, we saw Mary Poppins out the window and we were like, that's her! <laughs> okay, um... Alright, back to the... Should we go back uh, to the store? I was gonna or? say back to the penguins, but... Um, yeah. Okay, let's go back in the store, oh my gosh. Oh, look at this! Oh, there's Peter Pan! So that's Larry, oh Wendy's my goodness. Room? Oh yeah, well he, he probably found some more kids. Such a dark story. It oh. is such a... Oh. Like a painting too. Okay, we'll go over there in just a second. <laughs> but uh, we found Figment. He's looking... <laughs> he's, got so look, he got the, he's got the look going on with the pose. <laughs> oh, too sexy for this place. Too sexy for this place. It's called Dragon in Blue. It should be like 
dragon and sexy bird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's supposed to be <laughs> like the blue boy, the painting the blue boy. Or dragon in style. <laughs> and then over here. What a great crossover that they did there. Yeah. So Peter Pan slash Copper. What? Co no, this is Robin Hood. Did you just say Copper? This is no, not. Does he? If y'all okay. ever seen Fox and the Hound, tell me, does that not look like Copper? Okay, but it. But this is clearly Robin Hood and but Little John. Copper though. But this isn't Copper. <laughs> I know. I'm doing another crossover, but still. <laughs> but, okay, so <laughs> this is set in the UK. Peter Pan is set in the UK, so that's why they put them here. You know. Fox and the Hound is part of Disney. Oh jeez, okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's head over the bridge into France. Oh, yeah. right up there, we found Lumiere. Oh, Alright, let's see. What else we can find? The Aristocats. How cute. Oh, I found Remy. I found him. Oh snap, he was like right in front of me. He's right there. <laughs> they didn't even notice. What is that in the day? Is it Gary? And there's his brother. How fun. All right, let's go find the painting. Behind the cashier is Figment overtaking reflections of imagination. How cute. All right, sir. Ready to head over to Morocco? Let's do it. All right, Morocco. Let's Morocco out of here. Don't oh my God. <laughs> All right, so we're looking for, I know there's Abu in here because I've heard other people talk about him. Abu. Abu. Let's see if we can find Abu and then the portrait that Figment is in. I think I actually seen Abu over <laughs> Oh, you did? I think, but I don't remember where though. I think it just happened to walk in. We've been here two or three times since our last video, so we may have seen him already. This is my favorite land, so I noticed right away that this was out of place. Pigments of pigments. It looks like Figment is in a kaleidoscope. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, we're still looking for Abu though. This took us forever to find. He is hidden real good. It looks like he's actually trying to steal that pot right there. <laughs> and he's he's got the lamp. That was a that was a struggle. It's your favorite. We're going to Japan. I always gotta go inside the store. I can't think of what the gift shop is called, but I love going. I think it's like Mitsukoshi or something Mitsukoshi. like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's where I'm going. Right, this place right here, Goshiki. Goshiki. Yeah, I tried the pink snow and the sushi donut. And I was a little disappointed in both because the Christmas tree sushi was better than the donut. No, don't you like I'm And then the pink snow was light on the sake. So it just tastes the water down. But I mean I'm glad I tried it. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. So Go Shiki, right? Go Shiki, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we can find over here in Japan. So we're underneath the stairway to Tapanito, and this is the wave of inspiration. I've got my flashlight on right now because it's, it's, it's pretty dark under here, but yeah. And then, no, I'm good. And then right over here is Duffy. I found Duffy too. And the way up there is Duffy and his cat. I don't remember the cat's name, dang it. But it's like, they spilled their paint into the ocean. It makes a Mickey shape. I'm just gonna get closer. It's so high up there. <sighs> All right. That's Duffy and his cat. And so the I think the like the whole premise of like 
if I remember correctly, the whole premise of like Tokyo Disney is Duffy spilling his paint into like a, the ocean, okay. something like that. So, I mean, it's appropriate that it's here in Japan with Duffy because that's like they're huge on Duffy, Duffy the bear. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm like, so. oh. <laughs> Please enlighten me on this. Oh, really? You ready to head over to America? Let's do it. Alright, let's go. Mur. Mur. <laughs> it's a rule we have whenever we see anybody wearing an American flag shirt or, or bandana, a hat that's like gross and ugly and not tasteful, we're like, America! <laughs> America! <laughs> Alright, let's head over to America. Got the mariachi cobra going. There's a lot more than the last time we saw them. Last time there was only four. There's. <laughs> Hi! I want to be in your vlog. <laughs> Mariachi Cobra with oh, Kevin. <laughs> There's Matt. There's Shade. Hey, Shamar. Hey, Shamar, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, Shamar, <laughs> you doing? <laughs> All right, we made it to America and we found Amos. So, this little guy is from the 1950s, I think. They had an animated short where it's called like Ben and me and their best friends. He's best friends with Benjamin Franklin. Oh wow. He's Hence fun. the kite with the key because his best friend is Benjamin Franklin. So how cute is that? Okay, now we just need to find the figment portrait. Do you think it's probably going to be in here? More than likely, I would think that will be inside. This is made out of all different shapes and levels and colors of wood like it's so, it's 3d and it's so cool it's 5,000 and then you have Pinocchio over here too oh yeah it's very confusing to be in America and hear the mariachi cobra <laughs> we found figments <laughs> and it's called dragon crossing the Delaware Pigment. You know, that's how he went out. Uh-uh, stop. They made it. They won the <laughs> war. <laughs> you know, people died. <laughs> he looks so happy. Like, he's like a dog hanging his head out the car window. Like, yes, let's go. <laughs> All right, and then I believe in here is, oh yeah, the tribute to jazz. So they just started this February 1st in honor of Black History Month. Over there is the American Heritage Gallery. But then if you go over here, they have a lot of different jazz tributes. They've got some jazz instruments from famous musicians. Check out what they have. It's called the Soul of Jazz, an American Adventure. It says the beginnings of jazz can be traced back to the iconic area of New Orleans, Louisiana, called Congo Square. During the 1800s, enslaved Africans and free people of color gathered here every Sunday to socialize, sing, and dance. What resulted was an exciting new style of improvisational music with strong hints of African, Caribbean, French, and Spanish influence. The roots of almost all modern American music were inspired by these spontaneous Sundays. That's my band name now, Spontaneous Sundays. It's heavily influenced by Latin neighbors, Mexico, Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Brazil. So then it got more colorful because of the tinges of distinctly Spanish rhythms and sounds. All right, so it says if New Orleans was the heart and soul of jazz music, the Mississippi Delta was its main artery. During the height of World War I, millions of oppressed black Americans from the rural South fled north, you know, to find a chance for a better life. And it just exploded in Chicago. That's when the Chicago Blues were born. <laughs> the Chicago Bulls. Mm. The Bulls. <laughs> blues. The Chicago Blues, not the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do the Chicago Bulls have to do with this? <laughs> so then the jazz scene exploded in Chicago and it also branched out to other Northern American cities like Detroit, Philadelphia, Boston. It peaked in New York City. It transitioned from being upbeat dance to a more moody style that you hear in Seoul. Oh my gosh. Here is Louis Armstrong's trumpet. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. 
This is a plastic saxophone. What? This, I didn't know Charlie Parker's saxophone was plastic. That's crazy. That looks so weird and so cool. I just learned so much. See, she likes the knowledge. I'm like, oh, I love this it. is pretty cool. <laughs> you thought the plastic saxophone was cool, though. Yep. All right. One day, I'll try that saxophone. <laughs> We are headed over into, that's a trumpet noise. You want to try a trumpet too? <laughs> <laughs> We're headed over into Italy. Let's see if we can find Figment over here. Sounds good. There's a speaker right there in that building. So it's going to be really loud. But we found Jiminy Cricket. And they put those stars and everything into the brick too. How cute! Everything is so ornate already. I don't know. It's gonna be hard to find something. It's gonna be hard to find the figment chalk drawing in here. What? Oh, and of course you found it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's it? You did it. It works for oh, me. I love Pascal. You're so cute. No, he's a he's a chameleon. Cause chameleon. Yeah, he just blends in. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know why I say you on. <laughs> I don't know my stuff. All right, let's go see if we can find the portrait now. I feel like that would be inside too. Would it be inside of Stein? Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's probably gonna be inside of the store. There he is. And I. I just now noticed this. Look at these cute picture frames. How cute. But there is at the heart of all creation. It's big. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at his finger placement. He looks so dainty. I just love how they, how they paint him all cocky like. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. So it's inspired by Giovanni's. It's inspired by Cupid. Cupid? The painting Cupid. Yeah. He does look very uh, lovey. Figment is looking at us like, I'm about to make y'all fall in love so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we made it to China. And I'm pretty sure Mushu is going to be our, our guy for this area. Because that would make sense, right? Yeah. This one is very well hidden. It's just That's off over cute. here. Really yeah, everything's so ornate, but uh, there it is. There's Figment. This is inspired by picture of Spring Ox from the King Dynasty. And we also found this little guy. I love that. <laughs> So cute. How cute. Alright, let's keep looking for Mushu. Cause I I just feel like he's here, you know? Like that if if I was doing this, I would make it Mushu for sure. Oh, I knew it. I knew there would be Mushu somewhere. I just saw him. He's over here by the joy of tea. This is so funny. There's a big a big hole in the wall. And Mushu's like, I didn't do this. The cricket did it. Like he did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alright, we found the shoe. We can go now. <laughs> Alright, let's head on over to Norway. Alright, we found the pigment portrait. It's 
called One Little Scream. <laughs> it's inspired by the scream from early 1900s. Over here by the bathrooms in Norway, I got the little snow pudgies. I just want to squish your faces. All right, one more country left, sir. Are you ready for Mexico? Let's do it. All right. Hello, Disney duck. Hello there. Have a good day, sir. Goodbye. All right, we are right outside of Mexico. We're getting ready to go in. And here is Spirit World Dante. He's so freaking cute. This is tattoo. Let's go inside and see if we can find the uh, actual figment portrait. We got our flashlight again because it's a little dark in here, but he's coming out of the volcano. He's <laughs> everywhere. He's everywhere. <laughs> this one's called Landscape Near the Volcano Figment. That was very cool. Very, very cool. Very creative. We just came out the other side. Big pyramid. And I think our last character that we're going to find today is right around here. It's Dante in the earthly world. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> all right, we found all the Fibbit portraits. We found mm -hmm. all the chalk art. We're going to head on out and we're going to go to Disney Springs. Yep. Because the jazz exhibit over here was only a little bit Mm -hmm. of what Disney's offering for Black History Month. Black History Month, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I need a snack. So we're going to also check out the new m, m store, the new donut store, and Gideon's Bakery, the three new stores at Disney Springs. Yeah, I'm hoping for Gideon's because I really want their cookies. I'm really hoping they're not on like a six to eight hour wait. I know. <laughs> so. Hopefully we'll get lucky. It is Monday, so let's hope it's slow, and we'll see you over at Disney Springs. All right. All right. Made it to Disney Springs. Let's go this way to Gideon's first, see how long the wait is. Right, Gideon's is around the corner here, but we're over here checking in with her to see how long the wait is and get our name on the list. And then they'll text us whenever it's our turn. Just joined the virtual queue. They said about an hour 50. Yeah, it was uh, 110 minutes. So, Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll get a text and we'll come back here. So let's go check out. I'm gonna go check out the donut store. Might as well. Alright, let's go <laughs> see the new donut store. Alright, you're gonna head towards Splitsville. And then it's gonna take a lift to the donut store. Alright, Everglaze Donuts and Cold Brew. And because it is almost dinner time, the wait is not going to be that long at all. Yay! Okay. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the peanut butter. They've got sandwiches and fries, cold brews, donut shop favorite, spiked coffees, cold brew and regular coffee. The Funky Bunch is their more intricate donuts, and New Classics are their version on Classics. And it smells very good in here. Dang, it smells good in here. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you said you're going to get the Oreo? Yeah. All right, so he's getting the Oreo Supreme, and I'm getting the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. All right, I am happy. Even though it's fake, it's grass. He and loves grass. Grass, grass freak. Yeah, grass, dude. It's so soft. Okay, but anyway. <laughs> All right, let's get some forks and some knives, because these are humongous donuts. All right, and some napkins, because they look messy, too. Oh, and they've got this cool outdoor seating area. How cute. Huh. Everything's coming alive. You got City Works live music. We just left the donut place. We're headed over to the new M&M store. It looks so fun from the outside. Like, it's so colorful and so bright. I love it. It's the best. It's the best. So, we didn't try the donuts yet because we kind of need to eat some dinner. Otherwise, the stomachs are gonna hurt really bad, so. Uh, oh, okay, that was music. I yes. thought it was thunder. <laughs> it is starting to rain a little bit, so we may have to take cover, but we're gonna try to get the M&M store, and then hopefully the food carts will be open, and we can get a hot dog. All right. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay. Look at all the colored stuff. Skeptical, scared, nervous, irresistible, paranoid. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and look, they all have their different personalities. He's, he's like, mm -hmm. he's very paranoid. <laughs> Wake up, be awesome, Ricky. Oh, Blue's so confident. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's me, that's me. I'm oh, sorry I'm late, I didn't want to come. <laughs> oh, hey, this is me. But no, I'm never late, actually, that's not me. But what are the words, babe? What is it? Oh, I can't read it. Original, classy, <laughs> intelligent, alluring, sophisticated. Brown. Wow. <laughs> right. Oh, look at it. You may call me Queen Bee. Okay, this one's me. And my favorite color is green, so. <laughs> Fabulous, sassy, independent, tempting, captivating, and green. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. She's posed like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know who I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> my brain has too many tabs open. <laughs> That means you're friendly, sweet, lovable, Noble, innocent, innocent, delightful. And yeah. yeah. Oh, he does. He looks so sweet. He's like, hey, you wanna, you wanna hang out? <laughs> Just over my awesome. It's everywhere. Oh, this is you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Clever, scheming, entertaining, delicious, sarcastic, red. Yeah, you are delicious. <laughs> He's like, hey, hey, you wanna taste some of this? <laughs> So that's just the M&M stuff. Let's see what they have for like Disney M&M stuff. Oh, look at this. They got the Mickey heads with the M&Ms. That make them smile. <laughs> make them smile. Nah. Oh, and they got the, the jersey pants to match. Oh, cute mugs. I love it. What's this? Are these socks? Socks. Cute. Boxes of M&M's with Minnie and Mickey heads. Yes, I love it. Look, babe, it's you and me. Red and green. <laughs> <laughs> we got pen sets. I'm with the band. I'm with the band. Dynamite. Oh, <laughs> garden friends. This is pretty fun. Oh, perfect for Valentine's Day. Date night. Oh no, you can't party with us. Look, it's me and you again. You're like, get some, get some. <laughs> and I'm like, hey. <laughs> I like this. Oh, look at oh, that. <laughs> it's the crew hanging out. See, red and red and green have a thing for each other for sure. <laughs> oh, I like these. I like these tie dyes. They're all different. They're all. They're not the same. That's really cool. Oh, these are pretty. Very pretty. So this is the M&M mirror and it's got a camera right there. I have a feeling you just stand here and they'll do whatever you do and match your movements. It says coming soon, so we'll have to come back for that. That, that looks fun. <laughs> Ooh, slippers. Poof, poof. Yeah. Play the slot machine and out pops candy. Pop some bubbly. Holographic cup set. Ooh. That's a really cool whisk and mixing bowl. Oh, I thought it was gonna be ceramic, but it's plastic. But it's 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 good quality. <laughs> Are those plastic too? Yeah, these are all plastic. Which I mean is 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 good if you got kids. Ooh, look at this blanket. It looks it looks soft. Ooh, it is soft. So soft. Alright. Ready to go uh hot dog? Let's do it. Hot dog time. Hot dog time. And of course this wall right here. Please is my OCD. Not not you. Not you. You suck because you mix all the colors together. But from here over, super pleasing. Super pleasing. Okay, hot dog time. Let's go. So right across.
across from like the Marvel headquarters and Candy Cauldron, you got this little food court. All these trucks. Hot diggity dogs. We got a regular dog. Ooh, and they cut them and put them on the grill. Yes. And then they have their homemade chips. Then we got a BLT dog. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, and this garlic ranch dip. So good. I'm hungry. Where's the hand sanitizer? <laughs> All right. That was obviously delicious. There were a few chips left, but I ended up eating the BLT one. You ended up eating the plain one. Yeah. I'm a plain guy. <laughs> and then I'm gonna actually have a little bite of my donut just to see how it is. And then I'm gonna eat the rest later at home while watching WandaVision. Sounds like a good night, right? WandaVision and donuts? Yeah. All right, I like let's see how this tastes. <laughs> how, how was your donut? I mean, it was dry. I mean, it was what, dry. What, 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 what? Oh, that's why you ate half of it? Wait, there's something in my mouth and there's something in my mouth. <laughs> oh. oh no, catch the bag! <laughs> it's getting windy and it's getting chilly. All right, so I said I was gonna have one bite, but it was so good I just sat here and ate like half the donut. Like, I just couldn't stop eating it. It was so good. And the cream cheese that was in the middle, I spread it all around the donut. Oh, so good. You never believe in just one bite. You, 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 you I, never I, honestly, I was like, okay, we're gonna go probably get a cookie from Gideon, so I'm gonna save a little bit, but I didn't. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay, we'll have Gideon's for later. Okay. But um, a lot of people are comparing Everglades donuts to Voodoo donuts. How do you say they compare? To me? Yeah. I'm gonna be straight up with you. This is better. Okay. <laughs> what did you say? This right here? Yeah. It's better. By life. Yeah. It goes from like, here's voodoo, and here's this one. Yeah. For one, to me, and I, I tell you what, let me, let me put this down. Let me sit down real quick. Let me, All right, sit down I'm time. I'm going to put something down for you, okay? Sit down time with the dairies. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, okay, so. Voodoo Donuts do have some really nice designs on their donuts. It's great. Size is great. But when it comes down to the actual donut, I like I like my donut to be sweet. Theirs is not. It's like they just, you know, they cook the dough with no sugar in it. They put the ices on top and that's supposed to balance out the sweet, right? I like my donuts like Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme make their donuts like with the sugar in it so you can taste the it's like a sugary sugar, dough, sugar yeah, dough with the, yeah, with the icing on top, yeah. or the glaze. That's how this one's pretty much yeah. is, and that's why I like, so, I guess it's really everyone's opinion on that, but that's mine. No, yeah, I I agree with you, I agree 100%. Yeah, it, Voodoo Donuts look funner, but these taste so much better. It's moist too, it's oh, dry. Yes, Voodoo Donuts, if they're either stale when you get them, or they're stale within the hour. So these were in a case, just sitting out, but they're not stale. I'm sorry, Voodoo -doo Donuts. They do have a better variety, I feel like, over there. But if they're not good, I'm, I'm not gonna eat them. So, so you're gonna have to have a sweet tooth for this one. Okay, yes, I don't know if I could eat any more sweets for the rest of the day because that was so sweet. But it had a great flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Good job, Everglaze. I really try to save room for Gideon's right now, which is one of the other reasons why I stopped eating. So we've got about another hour before they said they'd give us a call back. We're gonna try to go hunt down the Motown Monday music. And there's supposed to be some black artists featured in the Art of Disney for Black History Month. So we'll go meander that way a little bit and hopefully get a text from Gideon's. Yeah. All right, let's go. Do we know who they are? 
No, there was okay. no sign saying who he was or anything. But uh, as we're passing Wolfgang Puck, you got the text back. Yeah. So it was really only just over an hour when they told us two hours. I'm, hey, so, I mean, they better say I'm sorry, right? Yeah, <laughs> let's head over to Gideon. Let's do it. I'm so excited. Me too. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. A couple of artists, and this is their artwork inspired by Soul. So that one is called Joe's World, and this one is called Joe and His Fro. <laughs> I like that one. That one's cool. All right, to Gideon's. <laughs> Creepiest, coolest place ever. password for the day to get the secret items. You're limited to six cookies per person. Limited edition items are two per person. They sell cool t-shirts, stickers, and have a cult following here in Orlando because this is their second location. The first is in downtown Orlando. But this is the coolest. Absolutely cool. Alright, there's the cookie that Adarius got, chocolate chip, and here's the one I got, the pistachio. You can see the sauce on the cookie. <laughs> they don't have the cookies, but yeah. Yeah, so you see this big chunk of white there? Ah, chunk, ah, chunk. They actually sprinkle it with salt, so it's like a salty, sweet, but is the salt overbearing, you think? Uh, it can be. It just a little bit good, but I feel like there might be a little I heavy on a hand yeah. or a hand heavy on the sprinkling. I like flipped mine and got most of the salt off and it fell into the bag. See, then I think I good. might have to do that. Yeah, if you flick it, it'll... Yeah, dude, that's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but other than that, it's really good though. It's, it's it really good. Really good. <laughs> Can we go see if we can find some more music over there on the big stage? Let's do it. Y'all ready to have a good time with the show? shows tonight, weather permitting of course, 
Right now it's just super cloudy and wind, a little windy. It's not rainy. But uh, that was a really good show. It really was. <laughs> they know how to get in, make you feel good, and then they go take a little break for the next show. So that way you're not spending a lot of time here watching the show. You get to still shop around. And it was funny, and it was fun, and at least really good. Yeah. Really good. Right, well, is it still going to be the same band or is it going to switch up now? No, it's Motown Monday, so Motown in Motion is on Mondays. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So it is, it's going to be them throughout. Yeah. Like, okay, gotcha. All right. Let's head over to Art of Disney. They have some art on display for February Black History Month. Let's go see what we can find. Celebrating soulfully, Bruce W. Smith. The Frog family, oh. and he supervised the animation of Dr. Facilier and the Princess and the Frog. Yeah, he led him into the visual development of other projects, Wreck It Ralph and Frozen. Yeah, I love everything this guy does. That's great. Oh, there's another one over here. So, this one's Marlon West. So, he did The Lion King, Pocahontas, Chicken Little, Tarzan, Fantasia 2000, Atlantis, Winnie the Pooh. Frozen, Princess and the Frog, Moana, Frozen 2. Wow. And this is Floyd Norman. He prefers to be called a cartoonist. Sleeping Beauty, Sword in the Stone, Jungle Book. So he's an animation legend. He was inducted in 2007. He worked on Toy Story 2, Monsters Inc., Hunchback of Notre Dame, and Mulan. And he published several books. That's really cool. Awesome. All right. That was our very cool, very fun day. Mm-hmm. Epcot Art Festival. Everglades. Everglades Donuts. Gideon's Bakehouse. Finding figments. Finding all the cool chalk art. Motown in motion. Motown in motion, so good. Yeah. The black artists over there in the Art of Disney at Disney Springs. Man, it's been a good day. Oh, it's really the good day. The hot dog. Oh yeah, can't yeah. forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for trekking with us today. Mm -hmm. If you would like to plan your visit down here to Disney World, give us a call. Give us a message. Send us yeah. a message. We, uh, yeah. Send us an email. Yeah. We got it. We'll leave a link down below. Absolutely. We are travel agents and we'd love to help you. We'll see you real soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.